Hey guys, how are you doing? Turbo here with another early access survival game. This is Green Hell, which is pretty much one of the most in-depth survival games I've ever played, quite frankly, at least when it comes to the actual surviving element of it. There is a lot of crafting, a lot of creating things like this water filter here to try and filter water that's dirty, for example. And there's a little pile of coconut <laughs> shells here because I've eaten the coconuts and then left the empty shells out. So when it rains, it fills up with water. I don't think any... Ah, uh, yes. There are some with some water in. But yes, it's another survival game. Um, you don't crash land with a plane or anything for a change. And there's actually going to be a full story for the game as well. So there's going to be a story element as well as the survival. Today we're just doing the survival. And if I just check my watch here, we can see that our water is full. Uh, carbohydrates and fats and proteins. Not so good on the fats and proteins, so I need to be catching some creatures, preferably a fish or something in this fish trap here. But right now I'm trying to make a shelter, because I believe you can't actually save the game until you've got a shelter going. So right now I need one more long stick, and I think after that we need some leaves and such to, to cover it to make the rest of the hut. So, thoughts so far, the game is really quite good. It's very pretty to look at. The performance right now isn't exactly great. The game kind of runs bad for me. I won't lie. It's also a sponsored video, by the way, guys. But, as always, I do try to let you know that it is a sponsored video. And I will still give credit where credit is due. And point out flaws where flaws are due. But, yes, there's a really strange... I don't know what it is. Even when it's at 60 FPS or even more, 80, there's a kind of weird judder to the game. I don't know quite what it is. I don't know if it'll translate into the video or not, but right now it's only 44 FPS. But like I say, even when the frame rate is high, it's still not smooth. It's like it's just kind of chugging along. Don't know what it is. But hopefully, again, with it being early access, they will help improve it. It is running on the Unreal Engine, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be running pretty nicely. I don't know if I've got any long sticks. I've chopped a few trees down with my knife. I'm picking up leeches, as you, as you can see there on my arm, which isn't good for your sanity level. Now, your sanity level, as you might imagine, you start to go a bit insane in the membrane if you start to have too many problems. So the game has like an inspection thing like this. It's because I've wandered through the swamp, I think. So, leeches, fortunately, we could just pull straight off. Right, get the hell off my arms. Taking my blood, not today. Oddly, seems I have none on my legs. They are just on my arms. Could have been from going through the brush, I guess. So, I need to get that long stick back up again. So, yeah, you have to be very, very aware of your surroundings. There's things like rattlesnakes and stuff hiding, and you might not know it's there until you hear it hissing. And rattling. Uh, there's some kind of tigers and stuff as well. Or a puma. There's something out there. Possibly a leopard. There's definitely a big cat out there somewhere. Uh, so we need some rope as well. Uh, rope I believe we can fashion from... This? Oh, does that, oh, is that already rope? Is that already fine? Yes, brilliant. Great. I thought we might have to craft some actual rope. So after that, we need palm leaves. It looks like we're going to need quite a few. You can only carry so many. Not sure what's making all that noise. But there's plenty of animals to hunt. You can set traps and stuff for them as well. Speaking of which, we should check our fish trap. Still looks like no fish. Not right now. What's that over there? Is that a frog? I think I've had a frog. I can always cook a frog. Hey, stop. Stop it there. Splat. We'll harvest that. So yeah, even the birds and stuff that are flying around. Sometimes things just die as well. You will come across dead animals sometimes, which you can just straight up harvest if you're really lucky. That didn't work out very well. Die. Die, toad. Alright, it's raining, so we're going to keep having water, so that's good. Uh, although, unfortunately, I cannot start a fire now while it's raining because it's not under cover. That's the only problem with that. 
Did I just throw a rock? I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, I don't know why I pressed that. I was trying to hold F. Yeah, we need to really cook something. Well, let's get the shelter done. Uh, there was some leaves on the ground here uh, a while ago. I don't know how long stuff stays on the ground, but there was some leaves. But I guess not right now. That's fine, we can chop some up. I think it was palm leaves it wanted, wasn't it? That's one. Looks like I'm going to need a few, though. So we'll chop this down. Items have durabilities as well, guys, so don't just go hammering the crap out of things, because you will break stuff eventually. just want to get this hut going so that we can survive. So yeah, having a fire going and shelter also helps with your sanity, I believe. But basically what happens when you start to go insane, you start to see, like, visions and stuff, which, while cool and trippy, obviously isn't good for your health. Especially since you'll believe it's real and then get killed by your visions. Okay, let's put that in here. Now the rain stopped. At least we might be able to start a fire in a second. I'll need some dry leaves though for a fire. And those might be hard to come by while it's being raining. But we'll see. Are we nearly done? This is a lot of leaves. I'm happy with how it is now. I would sleep in that. But apparently we need a little bit more. Jeez, looks like we need maybe three more. I'm hoping it's not many more. It's an interesting crafting system, though, <gasps> like having the thing there and then you just bring parts to it. I kind of like that. I'm not generally a fan of crafted games where you don't know what you need and you can experiment. I know some people like the whole experiment, like just throw stuff together and see what happens. But I do prefer being told what I need, like... Uh, you know, two sticks and a stone to make a thing, rather than just, you know, throwing stuff in a pile and then hoping something happens. I'm gonna have to sleep soon. My guy is real tired. Hot shelter created. Nice. So hold E to save the game. Right, well, I'm just gonna have an actual quick nap first. Because my energy level is super low. But my health is also going down. So I'll wake up now. Oof, it's night time. Scary. How's my... Ooh, I've got no proteins. That's not good. But we'll hold E to save the game here, and we'll overwrite that save file. Excellent. Okay, I need some dry leaves, guys. Although we're asleep for a couple of hours. Did we catch a fish yet? No fish. Are those frog pads still okay? 13 hours and 9 hours on those. That fruit's spoiled, so we'll have to dump those. We'll take that back to base camp. Didn't have to go very far. Now we should be able to break this open with a couple of jabs of our knife. There we go. And then we can... Might as well drink it as well. Then we'll harvest it. And then we should have... Some coconut. I literally have no space for any more shells. I've already got a load of, a load of shells. So I just chuck all them. I've got some charcoal here, fish bones, needles, stones, and feathers. So hopefully, we'll get some crafting done. Right now, I really need to try and get some protein and carbohydrates. So yeah, pretty in-depth survival, guys. But I think it's really good. I think this could go places. What's that? Glow-in-the-dark mushrooms? That's probably not good for my health, is it? I've got to imagine probably not good for my health. It would rain again, wouldn't it? I need to build another shelter. One that's actually under cover, hopefully. Generally, I haven't seen any other plant stuffs, and that's... Am I hallucinating, or is that actual people over there? There is a tribe on this island, and they're not friendly, generally. Oh, no. You gotta be kidding me. What did I say that for? 
for those guys. Yeah, I'm not going to go over there, dude. Don't worry. We'll, we'll stay clear of those. I don't know if there's, like, some friendly and unfriendly ones, but I'm going to assume at this point that they're all unfriendly. So nighttime has also brought us less than 30 FPS, so that's nice. If I look at the floor here, this floor, just looking at this, not much going on. 36 FPS. Not so nice. In fact, playing the game at this kind of quality does make me feel a little bit ill. I won't lie, it makes me feel a little bit ill. Okay, we've picked up to 44 FPS now. So yeah, I really need to find some dry leaves. Hopefully, um, will this count? Small leaf pile, that's not what we're looking for. I thought there was a fog coming then, it's just all shiny over there. Right, we need to try and get a fire going, but I'm not having much luck getting any... What just happened over there? What was that? That was weird. Did some leaves just fall down? Ah, some leaves fall down. All I saw was a big black shadow. <laughs> that was creepy. Palm leaves. Oh, coconut. Have I done this one? This kind of red looking one? Oh, did that say dry leaf? Dry leaf. That's a palm leaf. Quick, take the dry leaf before it's not dry. Fortunately, I seem to be under cover here, so it's not so bad. Yeah, trees might have let me get away with that a little bit. Ah, I found some fruit as well, so we'll take that. See, we are in a really good area to get going on this game. What was that that just fell off the tree? What the hell was that? Is that like a squirrel or something that just jumped down and ran away? That was weird. All right, well, back to base. We can start the fire and then cook ourselves some sea bass. I think it was that we got. And it's not raining. <coughs> Oh. Hopefully I've still got so got two dry leaves left. Man, I'm good at starting fires. And it looks we're back on cooking the meat as well. Hopefully it didn't spoil while we left it in the fire. Phew. So yeah, you do level up stats in things. You may have noticed when I've been hitting things or crafting or doing certain things. You do level up. So there's a kind of an RPG element to the game as well. You can get better at certain things. Presumably it means like if you craft a weapon, your weapon crafts longer or does more damage and such. So yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty damn good game. Just uh, hoping for some performance improvements. Ah, oh, nice, dead rating. No, fire. Just stay alive. Just a few more seconds. Yes! We have food, finally! Wow, that was timing. Good timing. Finally, proteins. Wonderful, wonderful proteins. Let's take us about halfway up. Fats and stuff we can get from coconuts. It's proteins that's difficult right now. Water is like my easiest thing right now. As long as it rains, we have some. We also have this filter, but I've not actually used it yet. So yeah, there we go. <gasps> Guys, I know it's not exactly been like the most riveting gameplay right now, but this will be like an episode one. I know I don't always keep my series going. It really depends on how popular it is as to whether I can really keep them going. But this is one I actually want to do more on. I want to survive. I want to do well. I like these kind of things. So, hopefully, we'll carry on. Go exploring. See if we can find any more little encampments like this. And see if we can craft a bow and whatnot. Do some hunting. 
just generally try to survive. A little own Robinson Crusoe adventure. So thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.